Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today I am hoping that this is going to be my last pregnancy update for this pregnancy. As of today I am 39 weeks pregnant and I am so uncomfortable these days. So I just wanted to share with you guys a couple of things that has happened this past week and that is happening right now so um yeah let's just get into it so for 39 weeks baby boy is the size of a pumpkin he is almost 20 inches long and weighing at 7.23 pounds i think the baby is going to be close to seven pounds if not seven pounds every ultrasound that i got the ultrasound tech has always mentioned he's probably going to be seven pounds and however many ounces, just like how my firstborn was. Also this week is awesome because at 39 weeks, I am now considered full term. So if baby was born right now, like he would be perfectly fine. He can breathe and do everything on his own. He would be at a good weight and everything like that. The bump app says that baby is probably able to flex his limbs now. And then it just talks about how I am probably ready to give birth any day now, which I totally am. I'm just ready. Like, I feel, I don't think I've felt this big my entire pregnancy. So it says my body at 39 weeks. Talks about how I, I could be experiencing false labor or my water breaking, more heartburn, hemorrhoids, pelvic pressure, and trouble catching your breath, which is everything is so true and then it also talks about the urge to nest it is also true i just finished cleaning up my entire room i got the baby's room ready my kitchen i cleaned my kitchen last night at like midnight i'm just ready guys Let's talk about my appointment that i had on friday today's sunday by the way on friday i went into for my appointment just like a quick checkup in my last update i did talk about how i started dilating i was at one centimeter two weeks ago and as of friday two days ago i am at two centimeters dilated also in my appointment my doctor asked if i wanted like a membrane sweep and i said no <laughs> So he went in to go check me and he was there for the longest time. I was in so much pain. It was so uncomfortable. So he's talking to me and he's still in there and he's like, okay, well, um, you're 38 weeks now. Like, do you want me to help you out or anything like that? I'm like, no, like just get out. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like maybe if he asked me before, I, before he checked me, I would have said yes. But in that moment, I was just so uncomfortable and in so much pain i was just like no like just leave me alone like stop <laughs> he was like you know i was just asking some people ask for it and you know you're far you're far enough along that i could do that but i said no because i i feel like i know that a lot of people when they do get that they go into labor within like the next two days and that would have been having me in the hospital on Mother's Day, which was today, and I didn't want to do that. So, like I said, I want to wait closer to his due date to start doing, um, you know, like at-home labor stuff. So. so, this week I've just been feeling extremely low. Like, I, f I feel him very low, and also I feel like I have gotten the pregnancy waddle and i probably have gotten that a couple weeks ago i just i can feel myself waddling as i walk now and i know i've talked about being swollen and stuff like that i was really waiting for my face to get really chunky and my feet to get really fat and just retain all the water because that's what happened my first pregnancy but i feel like that's not happening this time which i'm really happy about my face does look a little chunky but not as bad as it was the first time around and then also my feet are a little bit swollen but like i said it's not it's not as bad as it was before like my first pregnancy so, but the only thing that is different this time is now my hands are getting swollen to the point where I can't wear my ring and I mean I, I can wear my ring but I just I'm afraid of it getting stuck so I just took it off and I'm just gonna leave it off for the rest of my pregnancy I did not have to do that the first time being pregnant so that is different for me this time 
So some baby prep that has happened the last week or so. So I just finished up doing the baby's room. His room is all ready for him to come home. So when I go into labor, I, I have a video recorded for that day. Um, it's going to be titled, if you're watching this, I'm in labor. And that's just a video that I pre-recorded letting you guys know that I'm in labor. And um, so I filmed that video already and it's already uploaded onto YouTube, edited and everything. I'm just waiting for that day to happen where I can switch it from private to public and that'll be like my labor announcement video. I got my car cleaned but here in Florida there we're in like love bug season if you live in florida you are probably aware of that my car is clean on the inside but the outside it's disgusting so i was waiting to clean the inside of my car to install the baby's car seat so yeah that's all ready to go but that's pretty much it for this update i think that's everything i have to talk about let me show you guys the belly shot all right guys this is 39 weeks I feel like the black makes me look so slim. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so my stretch marks have definitely gotten a lot darker right here on top. But um, yeah, this is basically it. <sighs> so yeah, that's pretty much it for this update. I hope you guys enjoyed. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but I do post every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So this video is going up tomorrow, Monday. I don't know what video is going to go up Wednesday, but hopefully it is that I am in labor. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.